how do I turn a $2,500 price tag into $125, CJ? I mean, how can I do that by my line of credit or my credit card? Listen, folks, I'm glad you asked because today I'm going to show you how to turn a $2,500 investment, a $2,500 price tag into $125, all by using your line of credit and your credit card. <laughs> Watch this. <clears throat> Let's say you have a credit card. Its limit is $2,500, all right? $2,500. Now, this $2,500, let's name some astronomical interest rate, okay? Astronomical, like 30%. Is that astronomical enough? 30% at 30%, right? At 30%. Now, how many of you would be like, man, who wants that credit card? That interest rate is bogus, is outstanding. I'm not going to get that credit card. Well, look, look. What if you went even more crazy, right? And you bought $2,500, uh, whether it was an investment, whether it was a purchase, doesn't matter. You spent, and now your balance is $2,500 on this same credit card, all right? Now your balance is $2,500. You owe the whole thing back right now. Of course, I would I would recommend that you not do this, right? Maybe get a, a credit card that is a little more than what you want to spend on that. But if you have to, you have to. And I'm going to show you that that $2,500 price isn't really $2,500, all right? Now, let's go ahead and say that your income, right? Your income was, let's go ahead and get the green for the income. Is that okay? All right, let's get the green for the income. Your income is, what do you want it to be? Let's just put it at $1,300, all right? Just put it at $1,300, all right, for now. And let's say your expenses are at a whopping, you like that pink market here? All right, a whopping seven hundred dollars. All right. How in the world are you gonna pay a twenty-five hundred dollar balance off? I show you. Put all of your income inside <laughs> inside of your credit card or your line of credit. Okay, what is that going to do with the balance? Minus 1300 Why do I say 1300 Because that's your income and that's what you're putting towards your balance. Now, your expenses. Remember your expenses now. What are they? They are $700, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this equation here. 2500 minus 1300 equals what? 1200 is that right? All right, but you still have expenses. So what are they? 700. Now, we're going to add $700 to that number. Why is that? Because they are expenses. And as you spend on your credit card or your line of credit, your balance goes up, right? So we're going to say that is now nineteen hundred dollars well that's month one folks okay we are at a nineteen hundred dollar balance already how did that happen we were at twenty five hundred in one month we're down to nineteen hundred yeah and i'll show you how it happened in just a little bit come with me further okay now uh, of course you got more right more income coming in so that's another 1300 right so we're going to subtract from the balance because what because we are putting it inside of our line of credit and credit card that's why now we are at 600 dollars ooh it's getting less and less isn't it now what happens again 
What happens again, folks? Oh, we have expenses, don't we? Okay, let's go ahead and add those expenses on. It's going to be plus $700. That'll leave us with $1,300 is the balance. Month two. Now, what happens when we get paid? Are, are you seeing what I'm saying? Okay. Now, when we get paid, that's another minus 1300 right? Which leaves you what? With a zero dollar balance. But wait, wait, you've got expenses. You've got expenses again. So you're going to be utilizing, right, that line of credit again. But wait a minute, your, your balance is zero. <laughs> your balance is zero, folks. How were we able to pay that down so quick? That was what, three, four months? Hmm? I want to show you how we were able to pay that down so quickly, okay? How we were able to pay it down is the spread. 1300 minus 600 is, or excuse me, 1300 minus 700 is 600, which 600 is called the spread. That's what pays down your line of credit <laughs> and your credit card. That's what helps you not to spend so much interest. Because remember, remember, while we were paying it down, we still have interest to pay. So let's see what the interest paid was, okay? Now your limit is still 2,500, folks. It's still at 2,500, all right? So you've got that money back. So did you really spend $2,500 then? Or did you spend this amount? Watch this. Because as your balance stands, you still have a 30% annual percentage rate, which means you're going to take this number, multiply it by 0.3, and divide it by 12, okay? And each of these numbers, the balance remaining, you'll multiply it by 0.3, and you'll divide it by 12, all right? So each of them. This one right here, this number right here, 600 times 0.3 and divide it by 12. Then the 1,300 multiplied by 0.3 and then divide it by 12. You know, you can also multiply the zero by 0.3 and divide it by 12, but I'm not going to do that in this video. You can do it as, if you want, all right? So what we want to do, we want to make sure, oh, CJ, you can't do that in your head, man. Well, you know, I can do it in my head, but I mean, I'd rather not. You know what I mean? I don't want to damage anyone's ego. So here we go, man. Here we go. Listen, I love you all, all right? That's how I'm doing this. Okay, so 1,200 multiplied by 0 0.3 is 360. Then you divide it by 12. That comes up with 30. Now, there's another video that explains the average daily interest and how I got that number, okay? Um, this is actually the interest that you'll pay for the month is $30 in interest, okay? $30 for this month. And then you'll take the $1,900 multiplied by 0 0.3, that's 570, divided by 12. It's $47.50. So this is the amount of interest that you will spend that month, okay? 600 multiplied by 0.3 is 180, okay? Divided by 12 is $15. Are you liking where this is going? Okay, I, I know I am. Oh man, I could have just divided that in, in two. This is 30, okay? All right. 1,300, we're going to the next number. 1,300 multiplied by 0.3 is 390, right, divided by 12, $32.50. You guys, this isn't a trick, okay? And it's not magic, it's math, all right? So watch this, 
$30 plus $47.50 plus $15 plus $32.50 equals $125. So that's how much you really paid for your investment or for your purchase when you're utilizing the line of credit the correct way. Because you can't really say that you paid $2,500 because you still have $2,500. You utilized it as your new checking account, right? So you still have the $2,500. That $2,500 did not go away, okay? But the $125, it did. But if it's into a system that will make you $50,000 in six to 12 months or even more, it's worth it. <laughs> Okay, it's worth it. It's worth $125. Because that's how much you would really spend when you're utilizing your line of credit and your credit card the correct way. Okay? Folks, $2,500 turns into $125 when you know how to move that money the correct way. So let's move capital the correct way and not get so nervous, you know, when we're talking about heavy investments because we know how to leverage now. All right, folks, it's been an honor uh, being with you. I just want to say God bless you and you have a good night. If you have any questions, credit whiz at investorpro.org. All right, I'm here for you. Uh, I'm actually taking some of your questions right now. I'm working them through and you're going to be excited at what uh, I, I find out here for you when I find the money within your money. OK, don't pay too much for anything. OK, twenty five hundred dollars is not expensive because really it's one hundred and twenty five. And that's at an extremely high interest rate on your line of credit and your credit card. All right, folks, God bless and have a good night.